guys, it's Fantasia and welcome to my brand new series, Runaway Teen Pregnancy. So this is not the official challenge. I've just been wanting to do a runaway teen pregnancy series for so long. If you guys have been watching for a while, you know I had a 16 and pregnant series like quite some time ago and I just really wanted another sort of teen pregnancy series but a very different storyline. So we're just gonna jump straight into Create Sim and I'm gonna tell you guys the story, show you guys their outfits and everything like that. So I do wanna clarify before we get into things that this is in no way glorifying teen pregnancy or anything of that sort. I just really like storytelling. And for me, it's really fun when I have storytelling while also kind of having a challenge for myself without it being an official challenge. For example, I really love single dad life, single mom life type of stories as well. I've done those in the past just because it allows me to storytell, but also have this challenge going on at the same time, but without having the like specific challenge rules that I'm following, you know? So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that this isn't the official challenge. There is a runaway teen pregnancy challenge, but that's not what this is. So anyways, this is Emmalyn Storm. She is of course the main sim. And then we have her boyfriend, Ryland Cross. He is very much a part of the story as well, at least currently. So Emmalyn is a Switch live streamer. She loves to stream. She loves playing video games. That's her thing. Like she's, she's actually gotten really, really good at it. And she decided she wanted to share her experience playing video games with people online. So she started up streaming and she's creative and then she is an insider. And then Ryland, he is a leader of the pack. So he does have his own club. He's the leader of it. He just loves that vibe. <laughs> he just loves having his friend group that always hang out all the time and he's adventurous and he's a bro. He's very chill. He likes to just hang out with his friends. He just, he has chill vibes, you know, very chill type of dude. But then he also, he loves snowboarding. He's so adventurous. He loves going snowboarding with his club. And also Emmalyn is in the club. They started the club in high school. So I'm going to go ahead and just tell you guys their story while I show you their outfits so we can kind of do two things in one. I think that would be a little bit better so we can get more gameplay in. So basically, Emmalyn and Ryland, they've lived next door to each other since they were 10 years old, right next door on the same street. And very quickly, they became like really close. They, they were always just friends. They were like bestest friends, you know, growing up. And they didn't really, they didn't necessarily think they had feelings for each other when they were kids. But when they entered high school, they did realize that there was some feelings there and they started dating pretty early into high school they did start dating and I mean they always had the same friend group so they were always around each other and they were just kind of like inseparable they they always just they had this bond they had this connection it was just like they were meant to be either together forever or meant to be best friends forever so they would spend the night a lot at each other's houses their parents trusted them just because they had lived beside each other for so long you know they they've gotten close with each other's parents and they tr they just trusted that they wouldn't do anything that they shouldn't but of course I mean as expected they did so they did start woohooing a few times they didn't really think anything of it they were being safe nothing really ever happened um, until one night everything just took a turn so Emmalyn basically missed her period at some point and instantly she was panicked because that had never happened to her before and she had never even had to take a pregnancy test before because she just never missed her period everything was good they were you know just trying to be as safe as they could but she she took a pregnancy test and of course it did come back positive and basically her and Ryland were literally freaking out. Ryland didn't have a reaction where he was like, I don't want anything to do with this. It wasn't like that. They were both freaking out together. They were having the same panic inside. Like, what are we going to do? How are we going to tell our parents? How do we even start this conversation with them? Like, I don't know what to do. Like that was basically them. And they just didn't know how they were going to go to their parents and tell them this because they had lived next door to each other for so long. And and there was so much closeness there and so much trust with the parents that they just felt like they were going to disappoint them and completely let them down if they had told them they, they were doing things that they weren't supposed to be doing. And they were just really scared about that. So out of fear, they did run away. And that's why they're on this lot right now that we started on. And they're literally, I mean, it looks like they're in the middle of nowhere. However, it is a lot that they used to always go to and hang out. It's like in the middle of the forest by the water. They used to just hang out there because no one would ever really be around there. So so, yeah, they would just go there some nights and chill. So they are familiar with where they're staying, but they don't really know what to do. So they've literally just ran away and they keep telling, obviously they've lied to their parents. Their parents think they're just out for the day and they keep having to lie to their parents. They're going to keep making excuses saying they're at this friend's house, that friend's house. So yeah, when it comes to a certain point when they just haven't been home for 
too many days, they don't really know what they're gonna say, especially on Monday morning when it's time for school and they still haven't been home. They're just a little freaked out right now. I forgot to give them the simoleons they're supposed to have, but they have it now. So they currently only have 150 simoleons and they don't know what they're going to do. I mean, Emmeline is already getting stinky. <laughs> so she's like panicked. She can't go in the water over here. She doesn't know what's like, what's she doesn't know what to do. Um, so they have 150 because Rylan just had like 50 bucks lying around that he brought with him. And then, um, Emmeline actually did make a hundred from streaming. So she had that with her. So we're going to have them chat a little bit. They're just kind of talking about like, what are we going to do? Like they've just ran away right now. Um, the weather's getting a little bit nicer though, which is nice. It was raining. So we're going to just see how they handle this. Um, I mean, it looks like he's already super hungry. We're going to see how they handle just being out here. And this doesn't necessarily, because I'm not doing the chat, Challenge, like this is my own story. Um, this doesn't mean they're gonna be stuck out here forever. We're gonna see where the story leads us. They could end up back at one of the parents' houses. Um, we're gonna see what happens. I don't know how the parents are gonna react. They don't know that she's pregnant. Um, so I don't know. Right now, Ryland has shared sadness. No, his father was just calling, which I needed to show you guys the parents and all that. So seeing that someone Ryland cherishes is suffering makes him sad. Aw. Also, um, so she's tense, she has unwanted pregnancy. This is from Woohoo Wellness and Pregnancy Overhaul Mod. So this is from Unprotected Woohoo. Emmeline did not expect this pregnancy and is really not sure that she wants it at all, but it's happening. What should she do? Then she has pregnancy freakout from discovering pregnancy. Pregnant, it hits Emmeline now. How young she still is. How little she wants anything major and life-changing happening at this point in time. How little she feels ready to handle such a thing. And yet this pregnancy is exactly that. Major life-changing, impossible not to freak out. What will her parents say? Her friends, the father of her child. Okay, so technically Ryland already knows about this pregnancy. However, I want to get some use out of mods. We're going to be using a lot of mods in this series and I kind of want to do, this is with the Woohoo Wellness mod I was just talking about, and I kind of want to announce the unwanted pregnancy. So we're going to see how he actually reacts. So technically he should already know, which I mean, he does, but it, not with any mods. You know how they just tell them that kind of happened um, in the game when they like go up to them. But let's see how he actually reacts when we tell him with the mod. Cause I don't know how he's gonna feel about this. Okay, so, oh, he's crying. My heart. Okay, so we have a reaction. An unwanted pregnancy. Oh my gosh. What will Rylan and his partner do? They did not plan to have a baby and they don't want this pregnancy to be, but it's a little too late to think that way now. And then pregnancy from concept of parenthood, Rylan's partner announced being pregnant. It hits Rylan now, how young he still is. Okay, so that's kind of like the same. Okay, so that's his reaction. So this is gonna be interesting. And now he stinks as well. So they need to, they're, they're like, hey, like we need to go somewhere. Um, like let's head out. Um, they're going to be trying to stay as far as they can from home. I'm going to show you guys their parents and things like that, but we're in Windenburg. However, they live in Newcross. They just ran away. So basically, like I said, next door neighbors. So here is Rylan's parents and here is, um, Emmeline's parents. So that's where they're living. We are in Simlissy save file. So all of this is from some Sim Simlissy save file, all the Sims in here. There is some Sims that I've made that have spawned in and stuff like that. Also, I did place down these lots uh because this part was empty but everything else was filled in same with the other worlds but yeah we have some fun lots here that we'll probably visit we have a cinema and arcade we have a starbucks we have a sushi bar and um, we have a water park oh yeah he loves swimming they both love swimming so we have that water park and then we just have the newcrest dog park because i thought maybe eventually they'll ad adopt a dog so um they need somewhere they want to stay far away from Newcrest. So they need somewhere where there's going to be showers and stuff. Um, they could head to this pool or I mean, I don't know. I I'm pretty sure this has showers and stuff. So we could probably head here or we could head to the gym. That'll have showers too. This might be better because there might be food here. I'm not sure. We'll try here first. Here's some club members that you're seeing and parents and all of that. You guys are getting the sneak peek, but let's just go and then I'll show you guys their relationships and the club. So they do have a club and it's called the herbs. That's what I named it. If you guys 
guys are familiar with old Sims games, that might be a little throwback for you, but I just, it felt perfect. Just for the vibe of these characters, I just had to name it that. Also, before we go any further, we're gonna do our notification shout out. So this one goes to TikTok Life, and this comment means the absolute world to me. Just thank you so much, I appreciate it. And I'm really happy that I can make your day. I'm sorry you're going through a lot right now. You're amazing. I'm sending you so many good vibes. Again, thank you for your comment. And if you guys want to chance to be in a notification shout out, all you gotta do is comment down below. So I'm gonna get them showering and whatnot, and then I'll go ahead and show you guys the club and all of that. So there is actually food up here too. Where the heck are the showers? Here we go. All right, are these gender or no? Okay, they are. So she's gonna shower over here. And then he'll go ahead. Oh, he'll go ahead and shower here. So they're going to get their shower in and then they got to grab some food and whatnot. So we're going to let them do that. They're just not feeling the greatest. They don't know what to do. They're freaking the heck out. Oh my gosh. So this is their club, the herbs. And here's the member. So of course he's the leader. Then of course we have Emily. We have Cassandra goth, which she does look a little bit different in the save because we are in some Lissy's save. I also went and created sim and gave them all little makeovers. So this sim here, this one, this one, and this one are already in Simlessy save. And then Carson, so he spawned in. So I was like, perfect. He's a teenager. So yes, they don't know him very well yet. He's new in town and they decided he would be a great fit for the club. Why aren't you guys showering? What is happening? What are they trying to do? I don't know. They are trying to ask for the woohoo. Wow. You just found out you're pregnant girl and you already want to go again. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, but yeah, they're very close with the Cassandra goth. She looks a little bit different. She also usually, she's in a different outfit right now. Usually she has a beanie on and stuff. You guys will see her though. Um, And then Kayla, literally gorgeous. I gave her a whole makeover, but she is in this save file. I just changed her. And then we have Gemma, who actually is a spellcaster, which I feel like is fun because I feel like this is a very realistic series. So I feel like in this sense, it's like she's always trying to show them her magic and they're like, no, you're playing tricks on us. I don't believe you. You bought like a magic kit or something from Walmart. <laughs> Like, I feel like they're like that and like, yeah. Anyways, she's just trying to prove to them that she does have magic powers. And then we have Cameron and then Carson. So we will meet them. We also need to unlock another slot, but now let's have you go up here and get some food. Wait, where was the food? Was it down here? Or no, wait, it was up here. Okay, here we go. So just honestly grab something from in here. Let's just get a quick meal. Let's grab, let's just have a ham and cheese sandwich. Um, and she may as well eat too while she's here, you know? I feel like that makes sense. So she'll just do that too. We're gonna have her grab the same exact thing. She is feeling it, you guys. Oh, this is about to go away though. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. Uh, I hear the vibe at the romance festivals. No, we're not gonna go there right now. We're kind of having a freak out <laughs> She's still feeling a little better though after that shower Um, also I do have the pregnancy on a little bit longer I don't know if I'll wait the full amount because I can change it whenever I want but currently it's on seven days Um, that it seems a little long. Usually the pregnancy is three days because they are runaway teens I thought it should definitely be longer than three days. You know what I mean? Um, so I don't know if I'll keep it at seven because that might be a little much We'll kind of see like how much progress we get in each episode episode um I might make it a little bit shorter so yeah if we want the baby or babies to be born oh my gosh you guys I hope they don't have twins I don't know what they're having I want to leave that as a surprise I really like doing that in series like this um I just want to keep it totally a surprise and see what she has so I mean we will do an ultrasound that'll be a part of the story I don't know why she doesn't have her pink streaks with this with the towel on I have no idea um but I hope you guys like the way they look I had a lot of fun creating their characters and I'm literally obsessed with Emily I think she's the cutest little bean she is so cute um they're both adorable and they look so cute together in my opinion i just think they look adorable um all right so what do we have going on shared sadness still um and then are you still feeling the same thing oh you have some dry skin he needs to do a face mask he also has some dark spots going on so that's what slice of life if you guys are wondering so let's go ahead oh slice of life was right there let's go ahead and go to skincare and let's just do a one-time treatment so he'll do a little face mask and oh he's doing the charcoal one all right so they they don't know what they're gonna do tonight and they need to grab they they just need to gather some money they've already spent some money um at this gym so they need to go around and get collectibles and stuff like that they just don't have anything right now so they're like what the heck oh my gosh she's still in her towel they do have a specific club hangout um let me go ahead and change her so they do have a club hangout um uh, yeah, basically because he loves snowboarding uh they made it the mount komorebi 
place where they could just go snowboarding from there. So yeah, but they're not gonna gather there right now. However, I will go ahead and start a gathering and we'll just do stay here just so you guys can see them. And then, oh, I still didn't like sh fully show you guys their parents. I literally suck. <laughs> okay, so um, here is Emmeline's dad. And then we have Emmeline's mom, Tony and Mia. And they're super cute. So she's actually a daycare teacher and she's very, she just loves toddlers. She loves kids. She's very like, she just loves parenting. She's very, like, very famous family oriented. Um, and then we have Tony. He's a fisherman. He is, he's just a green fiend. He's creative, just like his daughter. Um, and then we have Rylan's parents, Tiana and Jacob. So Tiana, she's very romantic. She likes to be creative and make things. Um, she's, and she's very ambitious. She's in the culinary career. And then we have Jacob, like I said, romantic, active, and family, family oriented. He's in the manual labor. They're both only children, so they don't have any siblings, but here is one of the club members. So here he is here. Um, this one is Carson. So he's the one who spawned in. So let's go ahead and we're going to vent a little bit. We need to vent. Look how cute they all are. They all have very similar styles. They just all vibe together. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and tell an unbelievable, unbelievable story to her. Um, I think she is like embarrassed or something with the slice of life. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what happened with her face, um, but it's something with slice of life. I'm not sure. Um, she needs a face mask or something. She's having some sort of reaction. Um, oh, you are too. I don't know why they keep all getting these. I think it's a glitch with Slice of Life because when I go into criticism, I'm able to take it off. It actually happened to Emmeline as well. So ignore that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god so yeah that's Gemma she is the spellcaster and then we have Cameron and then of course Cassandra Goth look how awesome she looks she looks so cool in this save like love her let's talk about the herbs oh my gosh love that and then of course we have Kayla I don't know who my favorite is I love them all bright and day so they're just kind of vibing with their friends to kind of get their mind off things um I do have by the way you guys if you guys are wondering oh if you saw that when she was on her phone um I do have oh he's on it too I have a like replacement iPhone replacement for the phones. Um, if you guys are wondering about it, it's by Little Dika or Little Dika. I don't know which way you say it. Um, but if you guys just type that into Google, um, it'll come up and I love it. <laughs> All right. So, um, they're just gonna vibe, hang out. And then I really feel like, well, he's getting tired already. You see now I am glad they don't have school tomorrow. No, we ran away. Stop trying to call. Um, I think he's going to do some fishing so we can go fishing together, which I think will be nice. So we'll try to do that. Um, literally everyone's going to come fish. Oh my God. Love that. They stayed over there. Oh, they're coming. Okay. Um, apparently she can't. I think too many, yeah, it's too many sims to fish. Okay. Is there stuff around here? We need to do some collecting. We just got to try to, you know, do as much as we can. So these will be ready to harvest, but not at the moment. Um, I don't know what's going to happen when they have bills, although they should be cheap. Hopefully everything around here is plants. <laughs> They're literally not going to be able to just dig up anything. Oh no. Well, hopefully he catches some fish or something. That would be great. He's not even fishing. Oh my God, dude. Are you kidding me? Oh my God. Is he going to say he can't fish? Okay. There we go. You need a fish, dude just just fish <laughs> okay so yeah i don't know if anything's around here for her to dig up we may have to go to another lot um we can also honestly yeah let's just go to the park and we may as well bring them all we're in a club gathering okay so it's literally already 10 p.m it's so dark out but let's go ahead and try to gather at least some things you know literally nothing has spawned in in the save yet like we're just like struggling like there's not even any rocks to dig up oh my gosh you guys Okay, there is stuff here as I thought. Yay. So he's gonna dig this or she's gonna dig this up. Also, he really needs to pee all of a sudden. I swear to God, if he pees himself. Oh my god. Is he just too uncomfortable to do this? Yeah, so I may have to send him home. But oh she's uncomfortable too. She's not gonna do that either. Wow, our Sims just hate me. But look at this, you guys. Intense lust from high desire. So much lust, it makes you uncomfortable. It would be wise to find a way to release this tension. Love that for him. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. There's literally nowhere that he can pee. He might just like knock on this person's door and be like, can I use your bathroom, please? I really gotta go. 
<laughs> he's gonna try. He's gonna try it. Okay, we have officially collected one thing. So, oh, we got this, which is, okay, that's that's a decent amount. There's also this. I don't even know where that came from, but we're gonna get rid of it. Um, Who, who even lives here? I don't know, but we're gonna use your bathroom. Thanks. That's great. That is great. All right, so there we go. <laughs> Oh my gosh, poor dude. She's gonna come in and do the same thing. Um, they just gotta use the bathroom. What can you do? What can you do? So that was 75 simoleons. After he is done peeing, um, he should be... No, he still can't. He's just mad. <laughs> so mad. They can't look for frogs or anything. Oh my god, what are they gonna do? Like, I mean, the only thing they could do, I don't know why he still needs to pee. Oh my gosh, from some weird burning sensation. Oh, does he? Oh my God, wait. No, see, this moodlet is different. For some reason, Rylan feels like he has to pee. Continuously peeing doesn't really help. Oh, that's different. Oh my God. I I'm about to tell them to woohoo because apparently they need to solve some issues, which is ironic. They're just gonna do the thing right there. It's blurred, don't worry, you guys. <laughs> oh my god. Right in front of your friend? Oh my god. Okay, so that satisfied him. Wow. <laughs> Privacy invaded. Oh my goodness. I like how they're in some random person's house. Like, what's happening? Stop doing this. You're relieved, are you? Okay, hopefully. You still can't. You're still so uncomfortable. Well, I guess, you know, it sucks for you, buddy, because, oh my god, eyes wide open. <laughs> oh my god. From being naked. Oh my gosh. Rylan is fascinated by the exciting view of nearby delightfully naked sim. Wow. Okay, she can do some stuff. Perfect. Girl, get over here. Harvest. Let's do this thing because we don't got much time before you feel way too uncomfortable too. So she's going to come and get this stuff so we can get a little more money. We need a tent. Like we really need a tent. This is the, the struggle. Like I really hope, I, how much does a tent cost? I don't even know. Um, oh, she already can't do anything else. Okay, so we got the frog though. That doesn't really help us much, but let's go back home. So I think in their head, they're making their way back to the town they're in right now. And they're like, we're gonna go sleep at the gym because I think it makes sense because we can say it's like a 24 hour gym. So that's, their, that's where they're gonna sleep for their first night. So they're gonna try to hide out a little bit by sleeping over here on these benches as if they're, you know, trying to kind of not get caught sleeping at the gym. So they're gonna head in there, go to sleep for the night and hopefully they don't wake up feeling completely terrible. Oh my gosh, this is already going like so unexpectedly. All right, so they're awake at 4 a.m. and it looks like she's about to go serve some mac and cheese. So sure girl, let's go do that. 24 hour gym is where it's at. That is where it's at. <laughs> oh my gosh, you are gonna pee yourself, dude. Go to the bathroom. So they're having a rough first night. They really are, which I mean, very realistic. Like obviously it would be rough, but I'm so glad they have this gym that is 24 hours. They, there's a stove here. It's great. There's just, I mean, it's not the best sleeping situation, but what are you gonna do? <laughs> But I mean, it's something, right? So she's gonna make her mac and cheese. They're probably gonna go back to sleep. They're gonna have a rough Sunday. They're gonna try to save enough money. Let's actually quickly see how much a tent is. Okay, so we need 420 for a tent and we need to try to actually have a little roof over our head by the time this baby comes, unless we're back with the parents. However, it would be kind of cool to like really challenge ourselves, even though this is not the official challenge, so we can go in any direction. It would be kind of cool if they did have to try to get a roof over their head um, all on their own. I think that'd be interesting. Also, I've decided that they can't get a job until episode three. So um, if they do want jobs, I don't think I'll have Emily get a job just because she's going to be feeling really crappy. So I think he'll get a job. Oh my gosh, what's wrong with you? <laughs> so I think he'll get a job right now he's mortified stop looking at me from having mood swings oh my god something off of the nethers what anyways you guys i'm gonna wrap up episode one here so i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys are excited for this brand new series as much as i am and yeah so i'm gonna wrap this up here i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you guys are all having an amazing amazing day and don't forget to leave some positivity down below i love you guys all so so much and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys Honestly, I'm open wide. I don't feel like waking up without you by my side I still see your silhouette Why don't we go back to, why don't we go back to your bedroom